Sagittarius. This is your couples reading for January 2018. I hope you're doing amazing. Well, your cards say that you may be just saying. Your oracle card is romantic feelings for January. Beautiful. It says your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay? Your overall oracle card is the strength, okay? So you're finding balance within your relationship. You're strong, you're confident, or you're finding that confidence to tame those issues that you may be having. You may be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, okay? You're trying to get a better understanding of how to deal with them and their scattered thought, their ways of doing things. They may be here, they may be there, or that could be your energy as well, okay? being all over the place and trying to have some mental stability about what's going on with you okay let's see spirit what are they scattered about what are you scattered about the direction okay maybe this is about your direction um what you're trying to achieve in your life your opportunities um Delays that you may be having in life, you feel very scattered about that and you're trying to come to grips with those in your life. That was your past energy. Right now, you are on a path. You have some sort of direction. You are being more spiritually inclined. You may be praying, meditating, doing a lot of listening to a lot of readings, getting readings done for yourself. I feel like you're more in a spiritual space right now. Okay? Uh, but you're still fighting some things, I feel. Some things that you have already set for yourself that you may need to let go. You may not be ready to let them go. You're, you need to utilize patience, okay, on the things that you're attempting to hold on to. Balance. You need to know balance, okay. You need to have faith. If Spirit's telling you that there are some things you need to let go, it's just time for you to let them go, okay? Don't be afraid to let them go because you're not ready. It's not really about you, okay? So it's about nurturing things that are going to keep you for the long haul. You're utilizing more of that earth energy, okay? You have King of Swords. This could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, okay? That's a little iffy. Um, I feel like this person is comes in and out of your life. For someone, I'm hearing that. That they come in and out of your life. Um, this person can be very uh, abusive or just tyrannical about the way they do things. They're here, they're there, they're all around, they're trying to get you. But it's interesting because you have, your heart is open to this person. You care about this person, you love them. Um, You're dealing with your feelings on this person, yeah. You're dealing with trying to change them or... You don't want it to fall apart. You don't want this relation to fall, relationship to fall apart even though you're not feeling the love 110%, okay? You may be split up or separated at this moment, but you still have feelings for this person, okay? Now you don't want things to end and you're trying not to. You're giving in you're giving time and effort to try to fix things. Um, you have a vision about what it is that you want. You're hoping things that will grow and that you could communicate with each other and that this person that you're dealing with, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, possibly as I said before, will make better decisions. Because that's the problem. I feel like they're not making good decisions. You're weighing your options and you're not going to fall back into bad situations, okay? I feel like you're balancing out things that need to be changed within yourself or the way that you think about things, okay? Um, you don't want to take too big of a risk because you don't want to lose out. You want to keep everything copacetic. That's what I heard when that came out, okay? You want to keep everything fine. Um... I feel like you're learning to go with the flow of the situation. You're doing things one step at a time. You're not making any long-term plans. In your environment, you have the seven of pentacles. And this person is... I feel like they're not seeing what they have. 
okay they're holding on to you as much as they can and that's the problem is that they're not ready to let go of certain things they're not ready to make better decisions in their lives but they're still there yeah they're still there they're still moving forward but again they're not utilizing their power they're not doing what it is that they should be doing they're not focusing on their goals okay it's like they not that they have control over you but they misuse that control or the love that you have for them there it is manipulation of emotion okay so from the first to the 15th you have the tower in reverse and Give me a second. I feel like things need to be rebuilt, but there is fear of rebuilding. There's fear of changing things because you're afraid of what will happen if you will change if you change them. But there needs to be change, okay? It's like you need to let things fall so you can rebuild them, but there is fear of holding on to what you have and trying to build from from that okay it's like you're trying to balance out the give and take without making any changes so you are alone okay or that you're not alone you know like away from this person so you're being steady trying to be steady but the problem with this card is you feel stuck okay 15th through the 31st you have the 10 of wands in reverse and this talks about you letting go some of that responsibility. There's something that you need to release. It's like you're ready for the ch you're ready for change, so you're letting some of the responsibility go. You're going to let them try to take the lead as much as they can. And <laughs> it's interesting because you're like, "Oh, shoot." You know, like things are up in the air, you don't really know what's happening. I feel like they're missing the point. There it is. They're missing the point of what exactly is supposed to be happening. But you're going to continue to build that wall, especially if they're not going to work on things with you. Um, it feels like they're not sitting down to have a really legit conversation to try to fix the situation. Um, so you're not going to let your walls down because you're not ready. You end with the moon card in the upright. This is your conclusion for the month of January. And... I feel like you are focusing more on yourself, maybe even being single. Why? Because that is your instinctive move, okay? It feels like things aren't changing. Things need to be confronted, and they're not. They're not being confronted. There is too, min there's too much insecurity within the relationship. So I get it now. The romantic feelings is what you have, but is this going to help guide you along the way, right? You've made a decision... Someone's made a decision to hold on to what you have, though. Someone is holding on to what they have, and they're not ready to let it go. So the decision has been made because of that fact, okay? It looks like someone is trying to give hope and balance within the situation, okay? And that could be that person as well. Um, but it's like there's inconsistency. I feel like... <clears throat> There's definitely an opportunity to break up here if the other person isn't willing to put way too much effort in because that's what I see. I see someone being balanced off of hope and faith to create equality within the situation. But there's a problem with balance because someone doesn't want to let go of something. Okay, And a decision definitely needs to be made. A decision will be made either or. It really just depends on the person. But it seems here like what is consistent is that there is no balance. Um, there may also be a problem with trust. Just disharmony within the relationship itself but it looks like someone is still trying to work on the issues yeah see there's loss and abandonment here so somebody is I feel like one person is walking away but the other person is like I'm not gonna let you go that's exactly what it feels like here okay all right it seems like they're trying to balance out their emotions but you you are utilizing strength because you want to find balance within the situation. There are romantic feelings here that are worth exploring, but it just looks like there needs to be more commitment within the situation. So, 
Um, for the extended reading, I'm going to talk about your partner's energies because that is really what I'm seeing. I really want to talk about the end of the month and seeing what's happening to get a little bit more into the end of the month. And we're going to talk about advice for you as well. So if you would like to see that, become a member. That link's in the description box below. It's only $10 for the whole month and you get to see everyone's readings, not just yours. I will see you next month. And also, if you want a private reading, that link is in the description box below. I love you so much. Love and light. Bye-bye.